Well, hello, and thanks for joining us for another Airbrush Asylum video. So we're halfway through the week and on the weekend, especially Sunday, I had an intermediate and advanced airbrush workshop. So I thought this is a perfect way to just show you how the students did and what they worked on. So let's go check that out right now. Tim's working on his bonnet or hood, put the boat all masked up. He's working on the clouds. Got some skulls down the bottom as well, which is all masked up. So unfortunately can't show you that. But busy, busy. Got Q onto the black and white tiger. Just adding in his white highlights to build up the fur. Beautiful gun control. And Brad's working on a guitar. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So he's got a few paper templates that he's cut out. And working off that. It's coming along nicely. We've got Lisa working on a portrait of the cat. She's having a lots of fun with the sepia. She absolutely loves sepia, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so just working in lots of little dagger strokes as well to build up the fur. And we've got Frank doing a panel that he bead rolled. So he actually created that. Very talented. He's just rendering this, which is obviously already three-dimensional, but he's adding his highlights and shadows and a bit of texturing on the edges, which is pretty cool. And he's just applied an intercoat clear and then he's going to do a background, but I think keep the aluminium showing through. We've got Andy helping another student. So all busy, busy, busy working through their projects during the one day workshop. Back to Tim and he's doing his clouds, and you don't need getting them in the right position. It's great, mate. So the previous skull that you did, and then two transparent black tones, and he also finished off his tiger, which looks amazing. Great work, and finished early as well. Brad's doing the turned his skull into a zombie skull. Slash so, Terminator. Slash, <laughs> he's doing well considering he's only just got out of a beginner's course and he's attacked a guitar. It's pretty crazy. I said to him you need to do a bit more on t-shirts. <laughs> Lisa's cat is doing amazingly. What's the cat's name Lisa? Stella. Stella. Very good, so just added a bit of the pink and that'll all be toned down when she adds shading and highlights now. Still got a darker tone to go as well, but looking very good. The Frank is going to start outlining where he's had a bit of the masking issues, but he hand masked it, so he still did pretty well. Still can't believe he bead rolled it. Very good. All with water-based paint and he used the transparent base to create more of a kind of a candy-ish impression. So it's hard to see on this angle, but it would, once it's cleared, it'll show up a bit of that aluminium scratching, which is what he wants. And then Tim's just finishing off his background and then gonna unmask his all his artwork, his ship and skulls. I think he's going to add some lightning as well, so looking forward to seeing all that unmasked. Tim's now unmasked the bonnet. Still got some work to do in the background, adding lightning, and I think he said he's going to tone down the sails, but. He put some texturing in the sails using 
scotch pad and same with the skulls is that sepia yeah, yeah. very cool Good work, mate. Work in progress. <laughs> and Lisa's still busy working. Some of the other students have already packed up. The cat's looking amazing. How do you find the darker tone? Good. Much better than sepia. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I like sepia. And Brad's guitar. Still got a bit more that he's going to do to that, but amazing. And Frank, his panel, showed him how to add some outlines to it. And he had a go as well, he did well. So there you have it, I hope you enjoyed checking out the artwork that students worked on and completed during their one day intermediate and advanced airbrushing workshop. If you're interested in any of our classes or workshops, jump in the description below. I'll have some links to our courses page on our website. And until next time, go grab that airbrush and do some amazing artwork yourself and we will see you again very, very soon. Thanks for joining us, bye for now.